Sepsis can affect any age group, be it an infant or a child or an adult or an elderly adult. Anybody can get affected with sepsis, but there are certain age groups which have very high risk factor for sepsis, say the frail elderly or a very uh, chronic bedridden patient, a patient living with tubes, catheters, a patient having uncontrolled diabetes or those on chronic steroids and those with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, those using any form of immunosuppressant medication like cancer patients. These are the a groups of patients which are very prone for sepsis. Any infection can cause a dysregulated immune response in these patients and can lead to life-threatening infection. It is in these patients any type of fever should be reported immediately to a healthcare person. Or else in other group of patients, whenever they have non-remitting fever or hypothermia that is low temperature or severe symptoms of vomiting, diarrhea or severe abdominal pain, headache associated with the fever or altered sensorium that is an altered state of awareness. All these are symptoms which can be pointers towards sepsis and when any of these symptoms occur they should report immediately to healthcare.